In this short video tutorial, I'm going to show how to use a customization of uh, Splinks. So Splinks is fully customized and I can show it on the IP network management or IP address management. We have a network which we'll use for management. So you see before we created some subnets, but this network will not have like divided subnets in a table but it will have just IP addresses and some networks inside it and I want to use it in a bit, in a bit different way that I shown in the previous video. So this is my IPs I want to choose 8 IPs from that and create a network switch 29 but first give me the second to define the new categories that I'm going to use in IP address management. So this is the default gateway or gateway router which I'm going to use. I change the color to a yellow color and I'm adding a new category which will be called network and broadcast. So I'm adding this network category and uh, defining the color and setting up some icon. So the color will be let's say light blue OK, let's choose this one, add, and I need some icon to put there. I will use the icon the same as the layer 3 device for for now. OK, icon is uh, that one. So now I defined some IP categories as a network broadcast and default gateway. And I'm going to IPv4 networks, choosing again my management net network and setting up the first IP. So this one will be the network IP of slash 29 network. So I'm putting everything everywhere the same value, host category, the new created network and broadcast, and you see this is the blue colored. So okay, gateway router is the default gateway, and I'm going to put category default gateway router and used save. And the last step I will set up the same way broadcast. So when I put the broadcast IPs there, Okay, broadcast and hostname and comment is also broadcast and category is mine network and broadcast so you can see how easily we can now find that there is a some slash 29 network used inside large slash 24 network maybe better is to put the description that it's slash 29 on a uh, 29 tower okay, I put slash 27 but that's a mistake. I'm going to change it now to slash 29. Okay, slash 29 tower. And the same thing to broadcast. I will put that this is a slash 29 broadcast on tower 1. Okay, save it. So you see now how I have all the colors showing me that this is the IP network inside our slash 24 which is used on one tower and let me get some IPs from that network and assign it to customers. So this is the customers I, I'm creating to that customer new service for example to be VDSL something doesn't matter in fact and now I'm putting to that customer uh, IPv4 so that it's permanent IP before and this is my network 10550 so it gives me only the available IP which is 3 so I'm going to assign 1 it's used by customer 0 it's invalid network okay let's put 7 which is broadcast adding now it's impossible also used okay let's assign 3 save it and let's go back to our networking and IP before networks list what we have here is that customer got assigned IP address and this IP address is used.